The Australian Transport Safety Bureau is urging Vans aircraft owners to review a service letter issued by the manufacturer in 2019 concerning the retrofitting of a stronger nose wheel and engine mount system on its RV 6A, 7A and 9A models. This call comes after several nose over landing accidents occurring in Australia involving the tricycle landing gear variant. Some of these accidents have resulted in serious injuries and substantial damage to the aircraft. One such accident, investigated by the ATSB, occurred on the 2nd of January in 2017, when the pilot of a van's RV6A conducted a landing at the Starkfield Aircraft Landing Area in North Queensland. In this video from the accident, during a heavy landing, the nose wheel of the RV6 collapsed after bouncing on the dirt strip. The pilot and passenger were severely injured and the aircraft was substantially damaged. In light of both of these accidents, the ATSB is advising owners of vans RV6A, RV7A and RV9A aircraft to review the aircraft service letter 19-04-30. The vans aircraft service letter recommends a solution for fitting these aircraft models with an updated engine mount and nose wheel, similar to the design found on the newer RV10A and RV14A models. ATSB Manager Transport Safety Derek Hofmeister urges all owners to consider retrofitting the new nose gear leg and engine mount. While touching down on the nose landing gear should be avoided, the newer nose gear design has been developed with stronger shock absorption, which should reduce the likelihood of nose over accidents. If you haven't already, I'd urge you to consider retrofitting the new gear and engine mount to your RV 6A, 7A and 9A aircraft. You can read the Vans Aircraft Service Letter on their website or from the link in the description below. Vans Aircraft provides the following advice for all pilots flying its aircraft with a tricycle undercarriage. Landing too fast can result in the aircraft ballooning and a bounced landing. Allowing the bounce to continue can result in a high impact load on the nose landing gear. Trying to salvage a landing can result in a high rate of descent and a bounced landing. When the landing is in doubt, go around. Touch down in the correct attitude on the main landing gear. Avoid landing on all three wheels at the same time. Keep the nose wheel off the ground after touchdown until just above the speed at which you can gently lower the nose gear. Equally as important, pilots should lift the nose wheel as soon as possible as they start the takeoff roll, regardless of the runway surface type, to help reduce the load on the nose wheel. Ensure you have the correct nose wheel tyre pressure. A low tyre pressure can create a large drag force. Too high a pressure, the nose wheel is more likely to shimmy. Bands Aircraft also recommends the installation of a new nose wheel axle. The old axle, if not installed correctly, can create friction. Along with a low nose wheel tyre pressure, both of these issues combined can cause the nose gear to fail aft. Vans advises all builders, regardless of whether or not they're replacing the engine mount and nose gear system, to upgrade to the U-00710 and U-00711 axle system.